and I thought that was a really interesting approach. I don't yeah. know if it. I I've still worry about <laughs> the location of this one and how it fits into that, but I found that to be a fascinating. I thought idea. that very thought when I was reading your thing. I thought this may be an, you know, the RFP, well, our community center. I don't. <laughs> I don't really care what we do with it, except I don't want to just have it and just keep ad hocing it and having things happen that that bring it less honor than it deserves. If we can't give it honor, if we can't preserve it, we need to sell, sell it to it. somebody who can. And if Elvis had slept there, we could sell it. <laughs> if Elvis had slept there, we could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody <laughs> famous. And again, I, think I like what's been written <laughs> because I love the fact that I just, I just think it is so significant to this city. And just, and so I don't really care either of the use, to be honest with you. I think the, the, the sad part to me would be to see it leave this city's hands into a private owner that, that just could go Wouldn't take it back. sad to. unless the owner was just going to bulldoze it. Well, right? but you have no you have no idea but whether that's going to be the private case. Private owner. Not. I mean, if Hiram Smith bought it, we'd be very proud because he would probably make it totally authentic. <laughs> and so it depends. I don't think it's time to sell it, but I think if we can't come up with a good plan, it means that we, we might as well sell it. Well, we I, can't I think this well, is a I good plan. We, I think I we think started we down the path. I think, I think we do. are. I think I it, it just took us too long, in my opinion. So uh, does, um, does the youth council have any concerns about having to open it at certain times and, you know, and be held? To the I can okay, visit good, with gr them. great I don't question. Know what they do. I'll tell you what I did. So I, I rolled this over the last week or so, um, and then I did call both advisors today. And um, I, I bounced it off of them a little bit. One, one of the input that I got from one of the advisors was to incorporate the historical society a little bit more into it. The other advisor, thought it was great and, and, and she said that she didn't think that the tours or the art gallery would be a problem. To the contrary, as a service organization, she felt like that's something they would be more than happy to accommodate. My concern is we probably have the best two youth council advisors that we'll ever have. <coughs> that's true. And that's a compliment. But they're not going to be here forever. And no. just like chamber presidents ebb and flow, that this rigorous schedule won't always be agreeable to the, the youth council advisors that we have. Well, well but I think if you've set a tradition in there, you kind of set a policy, the next one falls into policy. Well, yeah, you yeah, just adjust the policy. Yeah, we've got complete flexibility, though. When it wanes, all of a sudden the privileges go. Correct. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then, but then we open it other things. But if the time comes that we decide that we want to use it a little differently, I mean, we'll, we make the changes when that happens. I just. To me, it's there. It's a great opportunity to be used the way it is being used. It's nothing but a positive, in my opinion, what's going on up there. Well, but the way and it's being used has not been open to the citizens as a whole. <coughs> and so we've well, got I, to I would, got, this has to be I'll be honest just with you, I would beg to differ now, because they've chosen not to come participate in those events, isn't the fact that they haven't been all open to them. Because there has been opportunities there. There have yeah. been events. So yeah, it needs to be more numerous, so we need but to be well, saying that, it's and open. Well, like, probably and better advertised. I'm not saying that they couldn't have done things better but for me for a citizen to stand up and say I haven't had an opportunity to be there I'll say time out the perception there's been there's been opportunities but the perception that it's a youth council house exists for a reason well that's and I'm not I'm not opposed to the youth council using it I never have been yeah. I've been opposed to the keys being out there without us knowing where they're at and who's using them I've been opposed to private parties happening there mm -hmm. and so I'm not opposed to the youth council using it but I think it's bigger than just the youth council, yeah. and I like that they're willing to, to contribute to it and make a commitment to it. But we need to find other ways that it can be available to as many people. That well, and I think that the, I think we're headed there. The I do. I think, and I think the youth council would love that opportunity to say, "Hey, let us bring more. You know, let us open it up on hey, a Saturday." I'd love to have. That I do worry a little bit. I know I've talked with some of the princesses that get burned out with everything they're asked to do, and so far our youth council hasn't gotten burned out. But we do ask them to do a lot. We ask them to do a lot. And the thing with that is it takes usually six kids, and so they can rotate it. It isn't all 15 of them there at it's once. They when I, when my daughter was involved, that's what I noticed, is she attended about half of the events, and it was yeah, perfect. And they, and and they, the they kind of rotate through them. So they're not always yeah. obligated to be to everything. They understand choose. they have other lives that they're living, and they work around those things. And, and so just, do we allow the Lions Club to meet there and the chamber? and the, I would say, the why new, wouldn't you? The new VFW post. See, it starts, you start running into huge problems. Yep, we do. 
that's the con that's the pro that's the concern. Right but now, the, the youth council is a small with your group. Lions Club. Yeah, Lions Club. You've I mean, they're happy with that in the gym. Yes, yeah, so you're, so you're doing the same thing with the Lions Club. But we're not doing the same thing with the Lions Club. The sure. historical society is letting them use well, it. Well, okay. We've we've outsourced. <laughs> hey, it, it, it is a distinction because because just like we don't rent rent out the yeah, community center on Sunday, council. just like we don't sponsor, you know, we don't rent out the community center on Sunday. Well, the historical society can do the gym because yeah. that's not us. Yeah. And but that, we sponsor the youth council. So we have a direct yeah. community, uh, yeah, connection that's a, there. That's true. That's and, and frankly, they've expressed the interest and the passion to do it. So if if if, if y'all or maybe even the majority of us are in favor of this, I'd, I know we can't make a motion tonight, but I'd, I wonder how you'd feel about making a, what is it, a resolution that we would do, Mayor, or or, or what that would, would kind of Well, you may want to put a policy. Mm -hmm. thing. I think the Councilman the policy Hudson's or, into a policy thing that we, we do address the, the rental portions of it. And those types of things. So I think it'd be more of a policy issue mm -hmm. you put in there. So in this special, the second bullet point, the special historic park. I know one thing that always gets mentioned is that people want to be doing receptions there. Is that permitted in that or not? I personally wouldn't think so. No. I, How about a mayor's reception where he hosts uh, somebody from another city? To me, it's well, a, a city event. It's a city yeah, event. A okay. I'd rather not call it a park then. I would just like to call yeah. it the grounds. The grounds, the, the grounds of the Covington Home. Yeah, exactly. Not, the grounds. Not scratch, rentable. scratch it up, Bill. Okay. Councilman Hudson. I mean, the grounds of the, I mean, they're not a park. They're not rentable. They're just there and they're, they're complement. I would like you to look so at revising your two. You're, you're setting that meeting schedule as stringent as you are. Maybe right into the policy that that uh, advisor will be with the youth at all times or in all meetings. But may, maybe have a, yeah. have a, a schedule. Okay. Well, I think we need yeah, to put yeah, together a schedule. schedule but I still think it'd have to go probably the mayor, you know, right. somebody say if we're going to have an ad hoc meeting of the city's got to know about the meeting and say yeah that's, i'm okay with that you know, that's i just wanted it to be clear when they were going to be there so there would be no questions about it so it would be full transparency disclosure it's on file with their quarter it's on the website, on the website. well not going to be any for the surprises. most part i could see that then maybe with, upon approval with the mayor because i know like you said the one night they do they try and have their a unit they call it a unity party where they come and have dinner in there and but they would and schedule whatnot. all that on um, maybe like an annual planning meeting prior to their upcoming year and they would make that <coughs> schedule and they would yeah, come and like present that entire mm -hmm. schedule to the council we would sign off on it the schedule gets posted public knows about it, public and knows about it. would that Thanks. schedule be can they exclude others from entering at those times well they would just reserve it for those times essentially but if anything else came up i guess we would have to decide how to address that i i didn't know how better to write it so i just said any other event would be by approval of the council. Well, I, I can tell you this, that while they've been in meetings, there's been people that have shown up with interest in the home, and one of those advisors will take them on a tour while the rest of the council's carrying on business <laughs> down there. The tour, I mean, yeah, come on in and see what we got. But I would envision some of those regularly tour schedules. There doesn't have to be too much for them, but maybe even a, a couple hours before their meetings, you know, and then that Saturday or whatever. So I think... Oh, by yeah, the way, our little... Um, and we're hoping to get copies of this, the little uh, video that was shot that the council gave permission for. That happened last week. Um, and it was my understanding because I was out of town. Fire in the it fire went push. very well. And we'll get copies, good credit for the city. Any, we'll any windows broken? What's that? No windows were broken. No windows broken. The the classical, well, the guitars. They didn't, want to, they didn't put the fire in the fireplace, did they? No. no, we told them they couldn't. We didn't know. The last, I'm pretty sure that chimney's been a while since. <laughs> It had candles in it when we bought it. Remember yeah. all those candles? It did. It there's a, did. Some, there's some a fake some fire in it now. We flip the switch and turn the flame. There was some little up. love nest of some kind, and we didn't know what. Yeah, there's a bunch of candles. In fact, I, I saved one of those as an art, as a <laughs> memorance, <laughs> memory, memory piece. Memorabilia. Yeah. Yeah. It was about yeah. this big. I'm sure. And this is a big old giant square candle. Jesus on the front of it. <laughs> I do believe it was of Catholic origin. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's what some I'd good say. Stuff. Let's write it, let's let's write it out. When you, when you get this done, Councilman Staley, do, do, do you want to rewrite some of that? Did you make notes? Yeah. Okay. okay. Would you guys, anybody that has thoughts, maybe just shoot me a quick email, I'll yeah. revise it, and then we'll either do it by, what do we call it, resolution. Oh, yeah, send policy. it over to us and we'll do it by resolution. Yeah, I'll I'll it it firms it up better. They'll okay. put it into paper. Correct. I don't like it. I like it a lot. I think it. I think it's it's helpful for us because it lets us know the for the firm policy. It allows the youth council to know where they stand moving forward. That we do appreciate everything that they're doing, 
and uh, gives us some flexibility moving forward as well to do you want me to put together an arc from the newsletter I didn't absolutely do we want to do that yeah. please do Sherry I, I tried to cash as a Zions bank <laughs> and it just didn't quite I'll work across the council so you see what's there before we ever <laughs> and let's figure out a day that we can do an open house up there or something yeah in the newsletter. See, maybe we could host the uh, St. George City Council. I was thinking the, mayor. the same thing. Let's do that with the barbecue up with there. With a little the barbecue backyard. up there. You might not want to let me. Hey, that backyard is. <laughs> we held our graduation up there, and that backyard is. It's, awesome. it's nice. It's very nice. Yeah. I, I like very. Uh, what I really I liked was the uh, the sidewalk. This exposed aggregate sidewalk. That uh, was. That's a nice uh, touch. Well, it depends on what period you're talking about. If you want to go to the exact period, it looks like a prairie home. No, it, it looks very nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Is your water running yet? Oh, I was going to say the That's spring, just culinary, sprinklers, yeah, right? they, they ran all night long. Irrigation, right? I don't know. Is it, is is it irrigation, Barry, or, or is it culinary? Yeah. Um, it's, recy it's recycled. They've got a tank. It's a 1,500-gallon tank. It's just recycled. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mayor, I'm, I'm going to make a motion that we adjourn. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, sorry. No, no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> 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 sorry, Councilman Truman. Maybe about a second. I'll second it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Craig Miller, aye. Hudson, aye. Bailey, aye. Truman, aye. All right, gentlemen, Got me and right. ladies.